So, this came out of nowhere, didn't it? Like, this just flew out of nowhere land. The Thor Love and Thunder second trailer. Thor uh, Love and Thunder, um, I guess this got premiered during, I guess, a championship game or something. Maybe, I think, NBA championship is going on. Um, I don't know. I'm not a basketball guy, so who knows. But, hey, we got a new trailer. Um, yeah. We got a uh, full, like, more of the story of the trailer, which I uh, I liked. We got to see gore, which, let's, let's talk about gore. We actually get to see what gore looks like, and the toys don't do him justice. Looks worse. <laughs> but here's the thing. You know what I've, I've, I, like, I was upset about gore's design, you know, from the beginning. I even did a video on it. But, you know, I did some thinking. I sat down and I thought. I said to myself, does it matter? Does it really matter what he looks like? If he is still the gore, he sounds like the gore I know. He is still, like, very much, like, those are some straight-up gore lines. In fact, I'm 90% sure, I'm 80, 90% sure that gore, those lines he says, are straight from the Jason Aaron run, from the uh, God Slayer run, uh, uh, story arc. And, yeah. Um... It comes down to it's Christian fucking Bale, also. Like, that's the thing, is that it's Christian Bale, a guy who gives it his all every movie, no matter how bad it is. And also, wasn't he in a movie that had another actor who looked didn't look like the character and it still was really awesome? I, I, I forget what that movie is. Oh my god, it's so hard to think. Dark Knight, that's it, right? The movie that we all, oh, that everyone and their mother hated when they saw the Joker of how he does, he looked like, and then we all saw the fucking movie and realized how dumb we fucking were. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom line, I'm still not a fan of the gore design, but maybe it'll work better in the context of this movie. And again, maybe if the character, if the if the acting is good, which is Christian Bale, it's gonna be good. But at the same time, if the mo as long as the movie holds up, and as long as the char I think is the character's essence is still there, I think it's going to be good. But other than that, I um, we got to see more of uh, I guess Mount Olympus, which we get to see Russell Crowe as Zeus for a quick for a couple scenes here and there. And what's with that accent? <laughs> what is with that fucking accent? Oh my god, I don't. What is, what is that? <laughs> like I I rewound the trailer towards the end just to hear that quick line with with Ze with um Zeus and I was like, what 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 kind of Middle Earth New Jersey uh great kazoo voice is that? I what whatever it's all right. Um, I do like seeing Jane Foster find like more of Jane Foster in the trailer that was really cool um I really liked seeing more of more of what she is like they haven't explained why she has Mjolnir back and like how she got Mjolnir um we also don't know how she reforged it um in the comics recently when Mjolnir was destroyed and reforged it had Odin's soul in it so maybe they're gonna say something like that, but that was recent from the Donny Cates uh, run. That was uh, and this came out like a few months ago, so it could be that maybe Marvel like got uh, since Marvel Comics have the in sometimes have the inside track on the movies. Maybe that was like, hey, Donny, Odin uh, Odin's gonna be Mjolnir. Maybe you should put that in the comics, huh? Say like we did it first, right? Eh? I'm, I don't know if that's for certain, but like that's a possibility. Um, yeah, this does look more comedy. This does have a look more humor, but hopefully the humor will not be as, like, off-putting as Ragnarok was, because while I, I think Ragnarok is probably the most watchable of the three, of, of the, um, of the three Thor films, I do think that it, the humor does kind of kill some points, but that was mostly because Taika Waititi threw out the script from the beginning and made it into something new and improv most of it. So I think Taika, while it is still going to be like an action comedy, I do think Taika's um, 
writing is going to be a little more tight knit. I think it's going to be a little more cohesive. We're probably going to get some more dramatic scenes because there is some really good like um, dramatic scenes in Ragnarok that um, like Odin's death. I still get moved by it. Um, the private moments between Loki and Thor, I think, are really good. Um, yeah, so I do, and yeah, Taika just once again, hopefully, he can knock it out of the park. The um, I don't really see an issue with this. I've um, I've been looking forward to this movie. I wouldn't say that Love and Thunder is probably my most anticipated movie. I just got my uh, the one movie that was Doctor Strange. That was the one I was most hyped for in terms of the Marvel movies. Um, and not to discredit, uh, um, and the second one, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. That's my second. This was my third. And not again, not to shit on it. It was just like, all right. Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Thor. That was were the three. Those are the that's was the order for the movies. So to say that this is my oh, and, and again, I'm still looking forward to the movie. It's just I don't have a lot of dog in this fight. It could be good. It looks like there are some there are some really good shots right out of the Jason Aaron run, and I do think that. Taika's script, now that he actually has a fucking script rather than just go by the seat of his pants, it might be better. But, yeah. Um. It just looks, it just looks good. It looks good. Um, it is kind of cool to see the, um, uh, Walt Simonson costume. It was, and he even had the fucking helmet on, too. I thought that was so cool. So, we had the Walt Simonson, uh, costume. Like, I think, yeah, the Eric My Masterson era Thor. I've been getting a lot into, the, like, the classic Thor, like the Walt Simonson and Dan especially the Dan Jurgens collected comics. Those are really good. Um, a lot of people sleep on Dan Jurgens Thor run. I, I, um, I've been re-reading, like, the collected tra separate trades of it, and I gotta say, it's really good. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of Thor or Love and Trailer, uh, almost said Love and Trailer, Love and Thunder, the second trailer. Do you guys like it, hate it? Um, what do you guys, have your thoughts on gore changed? Are they still kind of the same? Because that's the one I think, like, the thing with gore is going to be the big one. That's what everyone's going to be talking about is, you know, the major comic fans are going to be like, that's not gore. And you're right, it's not. Because that gore is the movie verse. And while I think, and my thing, see, my thing of why I'm not a fan of the design is because I know Marvel can do better. Like, that's my thing. Like, that's what bothered me. It wasn't like that Christian Bale's playing the character. It was more like I knew Marvel, like, I know Marvel can actually do this. Like, I know they can do better. Not, my only, ex like, the only thing I can imagine why they didn't do this, and I talked about it before, is that maybe Christian Bale just didn't want to sit in the makeup chair and actually show his face to some extent. Like, that's the only thing I can think of, or that Taika just wanted to go in a different design, or maybe it's a bit of both. I don't know. But, <clears throat> anyway. It's still Christian Bale, it's still, like, Marvel, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the, the character itself is gonna be good. And he's one of my favorite Marvel vil- he's one of my, um, a Marvel villain I really enjoy. Um, but again, none of us have seen the movie yet, so we can't pass full judgment. Because it could be good, could be bad, who knows. Taika's really talking up Gore as the next big Marvel villain, so let's see if we can hold... The, we'll hold you to that, Taika, we'll hold you to that. Anyway, so as always, if you haven't already, hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon for other videos. I'm Mr. Multiverse, I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.